Good afternoon all. My name is Jyoti Bhattacharya and I'm final VBA aviation. So before I start, I would like to address few things in our reality. So the very first thing, we'll start with questions. So no matter how old are you, no matter how young are you, there's one part of emotion we all have felt. So my question starts, have you ever felt sad? Have you ever felt sad? What? Have you ever regretted about anything of your life? Anything related to any part? Have you ever recalled the situation and tried acting that I should have said this, I should have said that? Most of us have done, right? Now, when these things turn to trauma, when these things turn to start disturbing us, that is a phase when we start to have a depression in our life. Now, what exactly depression is? Now, when I say sadness, sadness is not depression. It's just being upset. Sadness is a part of your life. If tomorrow my parents hit me, I'll be sad. If tomorrow something happens, I'll be sad. Now, what if I get a low rank in my exam? That'd be sad. But that's not depression. So what exactly depression is? Depression is something where you are mentally unstable, where you have negative thoughts all around every time. Something which kills you. Something which makes you feel like there's no worth of you in this life. But, but the other side would always make you feel happy because you have to show people that nothing is bothering you. Now, when I was four years old, my sister met with an accident. That time, I was left alone. Left alone in a sense, my mother, my father, my sister, they were in the hospital. And I don't remember where exactly I was, but I do remember the one thing. I was alone and sad. And that time, when I hit my maturity, I considered myself that I was depressed. The reason I considered myself depressed is because nobody was there to tell me that, you know, it, it was okay. That was a situation that happened. There is a point where you can come out. But what I did is, when I felt lonely, I thought my parents didn't love me. I thought my parents were ignorant about me because they took care of my sister a lot. I was unhappy. But yet, nobody was there when I needed the most. So, now you say that whether I was depressed or not, I don't really know. But now I say I was not depressed. I was sad, I was upset because I was alone. Now, how to rule out the depression? Good point. Because now when I knew that I was not in depression, I know how to come. So, very first thing, how to break the silence of the depression. The silence of the, the, silence of the depression is within yourself. You are the only person who is keeping yourself in dark, who is always having the negative thoughts within yourself. It's you who is making you sad more. No matter how much you portray yourself good, happiest, but you know yourself stating that you're sad within. So the very first part, what I have seen is, talk to your parents. Because when I was four years old, I was sad about my sister say, stating that she was sick, she went on to surgeries. I thought my parents didn't have time for me. I was wrong. My parents always had time for me. That is a misconception of every young child here stating that our parents don't understand us. No, it is wrong. Your parents are the foremost who understands you and the very first person who loves you. So talk to your parents. And I request all the parents around the world to understand your kids. Do not tell your kids just because you're sad, drink a couple of liter of milk and go to sleep or pray, do something. No, kindly take them, kindly talk to them. Understand the situation. I know there might be a huge age between the huge gap, but understand them. And if then 
parents don't understand. Next is siblings. My sister, myself, my sister here, she's present. And whenever something happens, I still resisted myself talking to her when she met with an accident because I thought she was loved most and nobody would hear me because what if my sister says to my parents about it and my parents start scolding me? There are many other reasons we all siblings come together. But the thing is, siblings are the most and the most comfortable person on this earth whom you can actually talk about. They are going to scold you, they are going to beat you up, but they are going to hear you, they are going to listen to you and they are going to lecture you on and on until you understand. And remember, your siblings will never leave you. No matter even if your parents slap you twice, you lock yourself in, but your siblings will never leave you. Now, spouse. Spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, anyone. Apart from family, we get connected to these kind of things. Now what happens is, even in this relationship between boyfriend, girlfriend, and apart from that, they still are depressed. They think they find love outside the world, apart from the family. But yet, they're depressed. So what you do is, you talk to the person whom you love the most, whom you think. Talk to them, make them understand. If being with them makes you feel happy, utilize the fact in a good way. Then, friends. Friends. Apart from girlfriend, boyfriend, whom we chit chat all the time, whom we have no shame with, whom we talk loudly with no respect, is our friends. So you can talk to them. I know they are going to say, hey, no, you are not depressed. But friends, do understand when your other friend says that he or she is depressed. Make them understand that, no, it's not okay to be depressed. It's not okay to be that sad. It's not okay to cry all the time. Talk to them. Teachers. Now, we all are studying in colleges. We all have our favorite teachers. We all do have one faculty whom we always rely on. Or else even if not one faculty, we know there's one faculty who will listen to us, who will hear us, talk to them. Now, nowadays colleges have counselors. Utilize them and they do not spill your secret. Trust me. Talk to them. And the worst thing is you can even speak about your family, your friends and as well your teachers. You can tell that why am I not getting good marks? Is it because of the faculties? Is it because of my family fights? Or is it because of me? I assure you, they will give you good guidelines. Then strangers. It's awkward, right? Strangers. How do you talk about strangers? On and on, about your depression. But I have done. I have done. During bus journeys, I used to always get around with few strangers and we used to always share smiles. That's really awkward, but it's true. That time what used to happen, we used to feel that, you know, to ask about greetings, we say, how are you? They ask. And there's always a negative thought saying that, what if I say, I'm not good. Are they going to ask me? And the same thing happened. They asked about it and I spoke up. They listened. And they will understand. They're not going to question you. They're not going to judge you. They're going to listen to you and you will feel heard. The last thing. In this world, apart from being depressed, apart from being rude, apart from being happy, there's one thing to be told, politeness. Not everybody actually focuses on it because nobody thinks that it's needed Nobody thinks it's required, but trust me, it's required. Even in the work life, even in the student life, even in family life, kindly be polite to everybody around you because you never know what another person is going through. Even in the work life, don't make fun of your colleagues. Please don't be rude to them. Do not put them down just because they don't under the process knowledge. Make them understand that it's okay. At the same time, the teachers and the friends, if a person, if a student is grading low, kindly make them understand it's okay. There is a path of new learning. Be polite to them. Make them understand that it's not a category of C, D or E. It's a category of learning. Respect the fact. Be polite.
family and a few messages to my parents and all the parents around the world be polite to your own kids i know you might get angry to your towards your sister to my towards your daughter son but understand they are not understanding you because when you start getting rude when you start fighting when you start spilling hot word how lashes on them the only thing which they'll do is ignore you and start hating you be polite to them no matter what happens i know that being a parent is not that easy but being a child is also not easy because we also have to face outside we have to prove our parents that no mom no dad i can do better i'm the best child i can grow good understand that fact and kindly be polite to everybody is just a request thank you